In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create blog posts. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to create archive pages for your website. If you have different categories for blog posts on your site, then all the posts from one certain category will be displayed on an archive page. And to give an example, I have added three links in the navigation menu that refer to category pages. And those are the men's watches, women's watches and affordable luxury watches. I'll just open a new browser tab to show you what I mean. So now when I click on the link like men's watches for example in the header, you will see a page with only the post that is classified in that category. Because I have made only one post for this category, you will only see this one now. But if new posts will be added to the same category, they also will be automatically updated on this page. As you can see, the layout of the page is not good yet and you can easily adjust it with the Elementor Pro plugin. And now I will show you how that works. So now I leave this tab open and I go back to the other tab with the Elementor editor. And in the previous tutorial, I finished with creating the third blog post. So let's pick up from there. I go to the left menu and I click on the icon and then I go to the theme builder options. And the page that I have just showed you is classified as an archive page and we haven't set up a template for this yet. So that's what we're going to do now. So I click on archive and after that click on add new. Now I go to the my templates tab and there I select the template that I made for the home page. I click on yes at the pop up and I wait for the page to load. Then I go to the gear icon at the bottom left and over there I set the page layout to Elementor full width. And after that's done I'm going to remove all the sections except for the latest post section. And you can delete sections by clicking on the cross icon or you can use the navigator. And now the sections are deleted and I want to add a new widget so I go to the left menu and I search for the archive title widget. And the next thing I'm going to do is drag this widget above the title that's already on the canvas. Now I copy the layout of the title at the bottom and I paste it to the archive title widget. And now I want to change the title color to black by going to the style tab and then at text color I select the black color. Now I want to adjust the background color by selecting the entire section and then go to the style tab and over here I adjust the color to white. Unfortunately, we can't copy the styling of the post section below and we can't use this widget for this page. So that's why I'm removing the post section. And now I go back to the overview with the widgets and I drag the archive post widget below the gray text. This is the widget we need for this page as the name implies. Now we're going to adjust the archive post widget and the first thing I'm going to do is change the skin to cards. Then I adjust the image size to medium large to make it a bit sharper. I set the image ratio to 0.56 and after that I remove the metadata by clicking on the cross next to the date and the comments. I disable both the batch and the avatar options and then I go to the style tab and there I go to the card options and I set the border width to 2. Now I set the horizontal padding to 20 and below that we also have the box shadow option and I disable it. Now I go to the content tab and there I adjust the title color to black. At typography I set the font to Rubik with a weight of 600 and I also set the line height to 1.2 and the letter spacing I set this to 2.3. Now I enter 20 at spacing to add some extra space and with excerpt I only adjust the color to black and everything else I leave it as it is. Now I go to the read more settings and there I adjust the color to gray and after that I change the font to Rubik by going to typography and I set the size to 16 pixels. After that I set the weight to 600 and I want a little less space between the title and the image so I go to the options for image and there I adjust the spacing to 10. Now I still have to delete this title widget that isn't visible because it's the same color as the background so I almost forgot to do that. So I click on the title widget and then select delete. Now I go to the button below the archive post widget and I want to change the color. So I go to the style tab and I set the text color to white and I set the background color to black. Now click on the hover tab and there I adjust the border color to black. And just to be sure, I want to check what everything looks like on tablet and the mobile view. So I go to the responsive mode. And as we can see, everything looks good on tablet. So I'm satisfied with that. 
and I switch over to the mobile view and over here we can also see that everything is looking fine so we don't have to adjust anything so now I want to save this section as a template so I click on it with the right mouse button and after that I click on save as template now I enter a name such as archive page template and after you have entered the name you can save it and now you can click on the cross to close the window now click on the green publish button to save all the settings then click on add condition and make sure it's set to all archives as it is already indicated and after that click on save and close and now I want to show you the changes that we've made in the other browser tab so I go over to it and over here I refresh the page and after that you can see that the design is now the same as we have just set it in the template if you click on a block you will arrive at the block page and if you click on the category of the post in the breadcrumbs for example then you will see an overview of all the posts in this category and if I now go to the navigation menu and I click on the link for a different archive page you can see that the styling is also completely the same as we have just set it in the template so that means everything is working fine and this already brings us to the end of this short tutorial I hope you found it helpful give the video a thumbs up if you liked it also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already I would appreciate it and also hit the notification bell so you will be updated when new videos are uploaded also make sure to check out the other videos on my channel in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a search results template and that's for all the results that will be displayed when people use the search bar that's displayed on the home page. So make sure to check that out. I hope you have a nice day and I will see you again in the next video. Take care.